3D printing is the idea of not just printing two-dimensional uh, text on a paper, but rather you're building up three-dimensional objects from a machine. The twist is that can we make them more adaptive and more responsive? So we don't just print static objects um, that have a fixed life, but rather this object at a given time could be one thing or another thing. So one of the newest technologies that we're working on is something called 4D printing. And the idea behind 4D printing is to have change over time. So the fourth dimension we're proposing is the change over time. And so what we did is we printed these strands that have multiple materials and we dipped them in water. And by dipping them in water, that allows it to change. So it goes from a single line into the letters MIT. And another demonstration that we did was a single strand and it folds into a three-dimensional cube. These demonstrate that with a single material, it has the program to be able to go from one state to another, and it has embedded in it that potential energy or that activation so that it could transform on its own, given some environmental activation. In this case, it's water. You could have heat, you could have uh, vibration, maybe sound or pressure. There's obviously applications in, in fashion and precision sports equipment and things that need to respond and be adaptive as the environment's changing or as the conditions are changing. But I think, you know, regular everyday objects also could do that. And imagine if you print a coffee cup and you pour in hot coffee and that coffee, that, or the coffee cup actually expands to shield your hand so it doesn't burn. This is sort of thinking about how to print robotics essentially without um, wires or motors.